Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at angle of rotational symmetry. Uh, I would recommend watching the previous video in this particular series, which is order of rotational symmetry. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to keep to the same four shapes as we did in the previous video. So we've got our rectangle, we've got our square, and I think we've got our little uh, eight something kite shape and then a seven one of those pink shape as I call it. Uh, but anyway, let's get started with the rectangle one first. So basically, if you remember in the previous um, kind of video, we did the order of rotational symmetry. Um, and as you can see, I've written it down for the rectangle, I've got two and then for the square, I've got four. For the green shape, I've got eight and for the pink shape, I've got seven. Now the hint is really, really um, quite, I'll do a couple and you're going to see a pattern of it really quickly. So if I look at the rectangle here, it's basically um, the angle of rotational symmetry is at what angle do I have to turn this before it comes back to its original shape? And if you look at it, it only requires 180 degrees to actually come back to its original shape. So the angle of rotational uh, symmetry for a rectangle is 180 degrees. Next, let's have a look at the square. So if I take the square and I'm going to start rotating it, you're going to see the little angle there. Right now it's about 37 degrees. But as I get to this point here, right there, at 90 degrees, it's coming out to be a, a, a square. So this square, it only requires 90 degrees turn before it comes back to its original shape. So I'm going to write down 90 degrees here, which is the angle of rotational symmetry. Now I'm hoping that you can see the pattern here. And the pattern is this. We've actually got 360 degrees divided by the order of rotational symmetry, which is two. So it's going to 360 divided by two is 180. And 360 divided by four is actually equal to 90 degrees. Um, so if we actually then go to the green colored shape there, and I know I've actually put this little gray highlighted thing because I wanted to show you what angle I'm turning just so that um, you can kind of see um, before the pattern reemerges again. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to rotate this and see at what angle this shape is going to be the same as the original shape. And if I lock it, there we go. So as you can see in that little tiny gray box there, that's 45 degrees. So at 45 degrees, um, it's actually looking out to be the same as the original shape. So for the green shape, I've got 45 degrees. And once again, if you see the link, if we actually do 360 on the calculator, divided by eight, because that's the order of rotational symmetry, you are going to end up with 45 degrees. Now for the last one, uh, which is the pink shape that we were working with before, uh, to get the um, angle of rotational symmetry, what we can do is we can just go 360 divided by seven. Um, so I'm going to go 360 divided by seven, and that's going to give me 51.43 degrees. So the angle of rotational symmetry is going to be 51.43 degrees. Now, folks, so a quick shortcut for you would be is to figure out what the order of rotational symmetry is and then just do 360 divided by that. And that should give you your angle of rotational symmetry. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision and as always, thank you for watching.